everyone, how are you doing? My name is Robert. We are here today to learn Bad Motor Scooter from Montrose's debut album. Such a good good CD. I mean, you know, I've got Sammy Hagar on vocals, Montrose, of course. Uh, so much awesome stuff going on in that one. And this is a very, very simple song. Extremely simple. Um, we're not going to be doing the whammy bar like crazy dive parts, because well, I, I don't have a whammy bar. But, um, but as far as the riffs go, very easy. A, a great song for a beginner to kind of really get rocking, you know? It's a really inspiring song to learn. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. If you want tabs, they're down below in the description. And other than that, let's get going. All right, so after you have that crazy intro with all the whammy bar stuff going on, uh, you go into a C add 9 chord. If you don't know how to play that, don't worry. We got it up on the screen for you. And it's right here. It's just simply taking your middle finger and playing third fret on the A string. Take your pointer finger and play second fret on the D. The G is left open, and your ring finger is on third fret of the B, and your pinky finger is on third fret high. Real easy song and used in so many so many classic songs. So that's just a C add 9 chord, kind of like the rock version. Okay, you let that one ring out. Then we're going to go into this one. Which is, so we're just going to this, basically a D5. Now there's a co kind of a few pointers here to do this one. I use my pointer finger on the 5th fret of the A string. And then I like to use my middle finger on 7th fret. So it's kind of a stretch. But it makes this next part a little bit easier. So you take your pinky and you hold down 9 on the D. And you go to 10 on the D. Okay? Then you go back to 9. So. Okay? So we have. It's basically the same thing two times in a row. But for me, if I use my ring finger, it makes that stretch really tough. See how I kind of have to like, it actually hurt my wrist right then doing that. Um, so this way, it makes it much easier. And it's definitely a good challenge, kind of jumping back and forth between that main chord. So if you have trouble with it, you know, just sit there and, and work on this, maybe just doing the chord and then going to the power chord, you know, and maybe try to go, you know, just kind of like break it apart into smaller sections and then build yourself into the full riff because like I said, it can be a little bit intimidating sometimes going through this stuff. Now, the main chorus part is really, really simple. Now, I would like to point out that there are a lot of overdubs happening in this song. So, there's kind of that whammy bar uh, effect that they're doing on a lot of stuff. And we're just focusing on one guitar. So, there could be three or four. Who knows how many tracks they have. But um, we're just focusing on one main guitar. So, all you're going to do is be doing an F, uh, F5, a uh, little... What is this? A uh, power chord? I can't even think of the name of it. Power chord! And we're gonna play first fret on the low E string and third fret on the A. And just, you just kind of strum that one out. So simply move up two frets to third fret on the low E string and fifth fret on the A. Now we're doing a G5. And then you go to a D5, which would be fifth fret on the A and seventh fret on the D. that's really happening in the song is this one. So it just goes back to that C add 9, then D major. Okay, now if you don't know how to play your D major chord, it's simply open D, second fret on the G, second fret on the high E, and third fret on the B. That's it. So you just go back to that C9. Thank you. 
thinking. Now, if you dug this lesson and you want to learn all kinds of other stuff more in depth, you know, a closer look at songs, then you would love our Ultimate Song Collection. We really walk you through everything. You have your chord charts, tablature, strumming patterns, close-ups, all the stuff you need to know to learn an entire song. All at fingertips, 150 of them. Like I said, now you can click on the screen and go check it out. If you're on your phone, don't worry. The second link in the description will get you there as well. Got the little iCard up here. Annotation. Thank you guys are set, and I will see you next time.